the beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. This is how the Gospel of Mark begins, and beginning this Sunday, we're going to spend a few weeks walking through Mark chapter 1, allowing it to form and shape us to be uh, more faithful followers of Christ, to think about what it means to be a disciple. And this week, we're asking two questions. What makes the good news good, and what makes the good news news? When I think about this idea, I often think of uh, children, and they show us the way they can lead us in the sharing of the good news. I think about kids, especially young toddlers, when they want to share something with you. They don't care what you're doing. They don't wait for the best moment to share it. They interrupt. They interject. They um, Even when it frustrates us and we want them to learn to wait, when they're young, they don't care. They get your attention because they want you to know what they know. They want uh, to share with you some good news, even if it's as simple as a picture that they've drawn, that they want to show you. And so may the little children in this world lead us in remembering of what it's like to want to share the good news above all else, to be desperate for it, to want to grow ourselves so that we can be more faithful sharers of the good news. It's who we're called to be. So this Sunday, we're going to begin the journey of reflecting and focusing on discipleship, what it means for us to be people that orient our lives around the good news of Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. See you Sunday.